Hey, hi everybody! Today we're gonna paint the angelfish, right? And it's like a fancy goldfish, right? And I just want to show you, you guys have painted with me a couple of times, and and we can we know that if we scribble our paint together, it just makes one color. But what and the texture, how smooth we are with our paint changes it. We can't just scribble. That makes everything look all uh, furry, right? But I want to show you my two paintings. You're going to laugh. These are both painted by me, but I use the paint different. Watch. What? Okay. Uh, did I touch this one too much? Uh, yeah. Is that mostly medium? Do I have dark areas, light areas? Barely. Uh, but look at this one. Look at the tail. I let the the darker red, the darker orange, be close to her body. You know, little little flicks like this, and then a few pieces in her tail. And then I didn't mix them in. Look what I did here. What? The? I I let myself have a speck, a speck that I didn't let myself go dark, medium, light. You know, regular orange medium orange, boring, yellow, hmm, and then white. Mostly we paint over the black with the white so that you can't see through the paint, you know? But, it, and then look at my fish difference. I like this fish. It's got orange in it and yellow in it, and then a little bit of dirty black just to give her a shadow on her tummy, right? And then look at this neat um, fin I made. It looks like fire. That's super fun. Right? Watch this. Okay. Look what I did to this fish. Ew! I got, I must have got black on my paintbrush and kept doing this. And I made dirty orange. Like I put, I just kept, what am I, why am I painting it so much? I look at it and I'm like, which one do you like better? Like, I should have stopped touching it, right? And let it be pretty. And just a, a tiny bit of black, so she has a little bit of shadow, just a little bit of dirty orange on her tummy. But look at this one. La, 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 la. I just, just, and then I look at it, I'm like, why did I keep doing that? I don't know. But I do like this fin with the fire. So this is both me. But everything that we know about being dark, medium, light, no. That's in the medium world. I'm right in the middle. I don't go all the way dark. I'm all the way light. I, I let myself, I just keep touching it and I just need medium, right? So that's what we want to, we want to look out for. Because I know I told you all this, but you're going to have a chance to experience it for yourself. So this is the outline, right? We don't want to look at the silver. We're going to paint over it. But I do want to show you the two oranges, right? So this is regular. Oh, hold it higher. This is regular orange, right? And, you know like the color of an orange. But then this one is the one that dries like red. The deep, deep, it dries really dark, way darker than medium orange. Can you, I wanna show you. Let's see if I can hold it up at the same time, right? So there's the medium orange. I put little stripes in my yellow. Mm -hmm. But then, this, look how much darker. And you know you can hardly tell the difference when you're going like this. But this one dries way darker, like red. Right? Okay? So that's the trick. So we're going to, um, we're going to paint uh, sideways like this. Or should we paint it like flames? I think we should paint it like this. You know why? What if, what if we paint it like this? Doesn't this make sense? Like it was fire? Right? And then when we flip it like this, then it looks like a fishy. So let's turn it like this so we can paint up. Paint up, okay? So fishy's looking up. And then we'll flip it to paint the fishy body part, right? And we're going to be very careful with our black. Remember what I did, right? So find the biggest, fluffiest paintbrush, right? And and then just try on the on the canvas, smash your paintbrush real hard and go, oh, and then the last second let go and go, flick. <laughs> Cause look at these little flicks. 
I thought. I let go at the last second. I went whoop. I go whoop, whoop, whoop. When I just let go real soft, whoop, whoop, right? So I put, am I pushing down? If I push down, what will happen? I'll smash my paintbrush and it'll be flat and then pulled. No, I can only flick up, up, up because it's fire. And then look at my ratty edges. Do any of them match? Is a medium one, a baby one, baby, big, bigger, big, tiny, itty bit, medium, tiny, itty bitty, medium, right? No matchy, matchy. And I let them be all ratty. So when I look at this, this is obviously fake, right? That's not real. I'm going to paint past these, right? The little flicks. Right, but I just, I just want, I just wanted you guys to see that it's a ratty, bumpy texture. We're not literally painting this and outlining that. No. Okay. So let's try it just to see. So we got it. Um, yellow and orange are both see-through colors. Like you can, like if you paint it on the black, you'd still be able to see the black. So if we put white paint on it, you won't be able to see through it. So find your white paint. Hello. Open it. And we're going to make a really nice, but look at this hole right here. It's just a hole because it's two separate fins. But if you end up painting, it doesn't, nothing matters. Right? Don't worry about it. But there's just like a hole between these two fins. But I would like, oh, question? Who needs helpsies? Someone's hands up. Okay, got it resolved. So I got the, uh-oh, your paint dried. Is there any other kits? That's gross. <laughs> the heat. Is the white supposed to be uh, like that? It's like no, kind of no. How, whose is like that? Just hers? It's, it's most of it's been mixed. Uh-oh, their paints are all dry. That's okay. We'll just go with it. It'll be fine. I think there must be a skin on top of it, and it's wet underneath. Okay, so we're just going to have to poke through that skin, right? Because when they get hot, the paints dry out. So I'm just going to stab it. <gasps> Try to get some of the wet stuff. Is it working at all? Poke, 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 poke. Yeah. There. And then we're going to try to flick up, right? So uh, we're just going to try to make the edge more interesting to look at, right? So I'm going to land in the tail, but flick only up like grass, up, up like a little fire. So I'm just going to smash my paintbrush and flick up. Oh, <gasps> see, it's pointy. Now you do it. Smash. And you can only paint up. You can't paint down. It'll make a square. Up. Yeah, you do it. Go ahead. Smash up. And then get another poke of paint. And then let's let's make like little tiny baby flicks next to it. Like this. Like a couple of baby ones. Land and flick. Land. Oh! Because it makes it a little bumpier. So a medium sized one. A BB one. Two little baby ones. But can I, watch me ruin it. You guys want to see me ruin it? Watch this. Smash, pull down. Oh, if I pull down, what happens? No. I want it with points. Oh. Oh. If I paint up, I get those little flicks. But if I point, put paint down, that's all flat. Okay, now let's do this big area. It's like, oh, and I don't want to see the silver Sharpie. So paint over it. So stab your white paint. Stab. And we'll go, okay, this will be like a giant one. She's a triangle, but we'll just make it a giant, giant, giant flick. Oh, nice. Oh, it's already looking like fire, but only if I paint up, right? And then, oh, here's my chance to make that space stay black. Do you guys know how to outline and paint? Right, remember, you remember. So if I smash my paintbrush, I want to stay in the fin. And I'm going to land in the fin like this. And I go smash. But now I sneak up. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Bye, Sharpie. Oh, 
one hair is touching it. And now I push my paint until it turns dry. Bye, Sharpie. Push. Oh, look how long mine's lasting. Oh, ooh, that's pretty good. If you run out of paint, you just pull again. But did I wiggle? Now, then you don't have a smooth line. So well, who's making the smooth line? The whole paintbrush? No, just one hair of the paintbrush. Hey, doing it twice made it even smoother. <laughs> nice. I had you to smooth. I know, you did a good job. But it's, who did it? The, the whole paintbrush? No, we were only looking at a hair. Okay, now let's uh, do the other side. And, and, but we'll land in this fin and sneak up. Okay, I need more paint. Mine's all dry. So I stab my white step. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna land. I'll worry about the flick later, but I land and I'm gonna watch me sneak up to it. Sneak, 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 touching. Now I can push. I'm pulling down on my paintbrush. Look at how one hair made it so smooth. You are jealous of me. I made a smooth line. It's because you guys have done it before. I can tell. You made a smooth line before. Okay, now I have to do the other fin part with the fluffs, right? The little flick ups, right? So I can touch this one and just go, all right then. And I got plenty of paint still left on my paintbrush because there's always paint on the other side of your paintbrush. Right? So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch this and go flick, bye, and I have to cover up the Sharpie. I don't wanna look at it. So I'll go up, okay, until Sharpie's gone. Okay. Flick, oh, up, right? So it makes a little pop. <laughs> okay, then like um, some baby ones, maybe three little baby ones. Up, 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 okay. No, no. And they're pointy. So I went up only. Up. Up, up, up. Oh, I keep making it bigger every time I do it. So, ugh, stop touching it. Okay. Now let's make a medium-sized one. Who needs more paint? I'm going to turn my paintbrush over. I have some on the other side. Okay, there. And then and then a medium-sized one? Uh, I guess. Maybe wider. A wider one. Oh, where it's like three tied together. Look at that. I got a big, big flame. Hello. That's like a mountain. Right? Okay, let's keep going. More white paint. Fuck. I tend to watch you paint too much. Stop watching and just talk. Okay. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to go up, up and, f and fall down this line, but I just go up while I fall down, up, up, up. Okay. So I'm hoping that I get a little, little fleeks. But they go straight up because it's fire. They don't bend, right? So straight up, I'm fire. Who can tell what we're doing already now that we just did this? So now we just crawl down the side, down, down, down. But they still go straight up even, right? Because it's fire, right? Remember? So look at mine. Oh, oh, they just, they just go up. Even though... You want to stick them out. They can't go out because he's swimming in the water. So they have to all go up, up, straight up. Okay. So now I go, okay, okay, okay. So more white poke. So let me just get rid of all the rest of the Sharpie. So I go, okay, sweet. Oh, oh, there's another one. That kind of bends. Look what I, didn't I say don't do that? I didn't even listen to myself. Okay. And now I'm going to go up. Up and fall down this side. We up, up. Okay, nothing really happened. That's kind of boring. Yeah. And whenever it acts dry, can't you skip more paint and go flick up, up? Because flames only go up, right? And then up, up, up. Uh oh, I need more paint. And then up, up. Okay, there. Cool. Fire! Look at our, and look how pointy it always is. Because we let go that last second and go. Whoosh, whoosh. Right? I don't come to a stop. That'll make a box at the top. Right? If I come, or stop, that'll make a weird box. 
Okay, now let's do along his body. And I want to show you the two, the lines. But there's two lines on his body, right? One's supposed to help you see that it's for his back, right? And the other line is the part right here by his fin. So let's, it's this top line. Let's just outline it. Like there, this, this one right here. Oh, look, I just got paint on it. It must be on my finger. So I'm going to stab my white book. And I'm just going to outline this like a smile. But I just, why do we outline stuff? Because if I outline it, I'm less likely to go outside the lines. Right? So I go smash, and now I'm going to sneak down on it. Touching. And I push down and turn the corner like a smile. Whoop. But I stay in the fin. Like I'm a, I smash in the fin because the whole fin's going to be white and I sneak down. Oh, well then I have to go up this side by the fish's head. And I just go, okay, push up by Sharpie. Click, okay. Okay, let's get more paint because I'm all out of paint. Oh. So my, I'm out of paint. I always think you're out of paint too. Okay, now, but the, now it's a weird thing with the tail. It's connected, but in a fluffy way, right? So it there's these little strings and we touch and flick like that. And so it's not a straight line or anything. There, It's made all ratty where it's connected to her tail, right? And I'll show you on this one too, just as ratty. Like that. So I go, okay. So I, I, this is just her tail. So I'm just going to go, beep, 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 scratch, 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 scratch. And I'm going back and forth because I want those pointy ends. Push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. So it's all ratty where it connects. It's not smooth because we'll be able to see that smoothness through our paint. Remember the oranges are all see-through. So I give it permission to be a little ratty. And then, and now we can attach the end of the tail down to here. Coolio. So now you know how to paint the whole thing. Because the texture is what? Flame, flame, flame. Right? But all we did was outline it. Right? So now we get to decorate it. And what's the, you guys know about paint by now, right? Oh, I stepped on a piece of tape. Um. We, we know that once you put the paint on thin on the canvas, what happens to the paint right away? It starts drying. I put it on thin and the air is stealing. This It's already dry. I know. Can you mix colors with dry paint? So once we start going and decorating with the oranges and stuff, we have to go kind of fast because... The water is being stolen from, by the air, right? So we go, okay, let's go then. So I'm going to stab my white. Stab! And we'll paint in all this. But, but as soon as we paint it, we're adding yellow right after. Okay? So my flames go only up. So I'm going to paint all this white going up, 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 up. Because that's the law. That's the law. That's the law. That's the law. See? I just tried to paint down. I know, you can't scribble. It's more efficient, but what am I actually teaching you? If you do it my way and only paint up, I'm getting you ready to add yellow in the same way. Does that make sense? So not up and down, Z's. that's not right. So you're still painting it white going up, 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 because we're practicing. Oh, <gasps> other tail. Up, 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 stab your white. All right then. Up, 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 up. My gosh, this is harder than it looks. I'm so tempted to scribble up and down. Woo! But I'm practicing. Oh, see? I just went down. It's it's a brain trick. Oh! I pushed down again. Up, 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 up. Because I'm training my brain. Flames that can only go up. Texture matters. Okay. I'd beat you. I'm the best. Okay, not really. I'm just playing. How come we have to paint fast? What's happening to our paint right now? It's drying. 
no, don't dry white paint. But she can't help it because the air, right? And especially in a hot summer day, the air is very dry. Okay, find your yellow. Look at this super bright yellow. So pretty. Because we're going to streak this into our white with this. Look at there's white in my paintbrush. I don't care. It'll make the best yellow ever. Okay, look. Does the does the white on the tip still live? Yeah. Yeah. I don't need my yellow to go all the way to the end, right? No, 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 no. No, no, no. It'll be I want the tips to be white. So, I just put some yellow. So, we're just going to get open your yellow. Pop right? And then stab your yellow like you're mad because we don't care. All this paint is for us. So we can use it up if we want to. It's not precious. So we stab our white. Oh, I mean our yellow. I got a lot on my dirty white paintbrush because it will make a brighter yellow, right? So let's go and land just below our flicks and see if we can't decorate those. But I don't, I don't let my flicks touch the tip tops. Those are white flames. Right? Oh, look at you can see my white tops. Oh, 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 I went too far. Look at I covered up my whites. Okay, careful, careful. I'm flicking because I like that texture, but it can get crazy if I'm not careful. Okay, more yellow for the other side. The other side is jealous. Oh, see? Went too high again. This is tricky, right? I'm trying to go up without being a crazy person and just painting over everything. Up, up, up. Oh, then I have to fall down the side. Like that? Oh yeah, we can do that. We already did it once. So I'm going up, 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 up. Oh, I ran out of paint. As soon as it's dry and sticky, more paint. Down the side, down the side, down the side, down the side, whoop. Uh oh, my yellow's drying. Let's decorate it. And look at I, I attached it to her tail. Look at mine. Oh, uh huh. I attached it to the her back. I came around the corner. Who's ready to do regular orange? Wait, can I show you the two colors again? Regular orange and dark orange. This one's the one that turns red. So can you find regular orange? Because she's medium. Right? Find regular orange. You don't know how dark that red dries. It's really awesome. Okay. So I would like to decorate with this orange. And I'm just going to put it like in the middle of the fin. And then gently flick it into the yellow. But I, I'm going to stay below the yellow for one minute. Okay. Look at my dirty paintbrush. I don't care. It'll make a beautiful color. So I poke my medium orange. Poke! What happens if I run out? I just get more. Okay, but I, I'm just going to touch it. I'm going to flick up, but only touch the bottom of the yellows. I can let them touch. It's the same fish. But I just go, woo, 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 woo. Wait, wait, wait. I need another poke for the other fin. And then woo, up, 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 up. Okay, well, that's kind of boring. Because, did I make a new color at all? No, I just barely let them touch. And then slide down the side, down the side, down the side, down the side. Okay, now there's no paint left in our paintbrush, right? I turn it all the way, oh, it's pretty dry, right? Now, let's grab the tops of the orange that I already put, everybody pause and look up. You see this orange? Let's just grab it and flick it into our yellow and see what color it makes. Don't get more from your cup, that's too much paint. I'm just gonna go, whoosh, oh, 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 look it. I pick up the yellow and drop it off in the orange and pick up the orange and drop it off in the yellow. They look like fire. So I'm not getting more orange, I'm letting them, oh, oh, wow, oh, that, oh, I put, oh, flick, oh, oh, look it, it's changing. Oh, I put, push up, 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 and then by going into the yellow, it changes the color. I need more yellow. Who feels like you didn't have enough yellow? Um, watch me, everybody pause. I'm gonna put more yellow on mine because mine already dry. Oh, look at, flick, up, 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 neat. 
That's medium. Okay, so right now we have um, we have white pieces, yellow pieces, orange pieces, and did we get an orangey yellow? Yes. Okay, now let's put, now let's get orange, you know, regular orange, to go all the way down by her, you know, right here, and then we'll fit, and then we'll put the red orange on it. Okay, so just poke regular, regular orange, you know, the one that looks like a fruit, right? Not the red one yet. And then, okay, let's just, you know, because I don't want to look at white anymore. All right, goodbye, white tail. Bye, 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 bye. And I'm just attaching this. Oh, look it, I don't have, that's not enough paint. It's all dry and sticky. Okay. And I'm, which way are we going? Up, attach it to the tail. Attach, 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 attach. Okay. But not any higher, you know, because we're gonna put the dark red on this, but we needed to get it wet with orange so it could mix with something. Because how many color values makes 3D? Three, and, and that's just two colors, orange and yellow. Is that 3D? No. The white was just helping. But we can only flick up, not side to side. Only up because it's a flame. Okay, where's dark orange? Hello. I am dark orange, and you're jealous of me. Okay, so how thick am I allowed to make this? As thick as you want, because that's as red as it's going to be. And do we want it red? 3D. So I'm going to poke my dark, dark orange. Poke! But I just want to put it, I'm just going to put it uh, and flick it um, into the orange. Remember how we did the yellow and it's just strings? But I just go, ho, oh, ho, oh, up, into the wet orange. Oh, but they're, they're fluffy tops. Whoa, ooh, oh, ooh, okay. So it's, it's just for the bottom. You know how a flame is, red down by the, by the wick. We don't mix it in. We like that it's staying really close to the fish. Okay, let me get more for the other one. Oh, a long string, long, ooh, ooh. And then look, they curve. Everybody pause and look up. Whoa. Let me turn the corner like a smile. <laughs> ooh, that's a party. And look at all my tops. They look like t like ratty little flames, like l little pokes, little sharps. But, I, I mean, the red's okay, but could we get some yellow and put more strings on them? But I still have red on my paintbrush right now, and I think the red will cover up all my yellow. You know what I mean? Because red is way more powerful than yellow. So get a paper towel and squeeze it out like this, squeeze it really hard. Because I would like to get some yellow and decorate uh, just, you know, some of that reddish a little bit, some yellow strings on it, but I didn't want all that other color on there. So it all came off in one squeeze, right? Now I'm gonna stab my yellow stab. You wanna see me do it? Watch this. Look at the red, oh, and I'm gonna Right, I'm very gently, boys especially, no scribbling. I just go, oh, yellow strings, so pretty. It looks like fire. But I just get a little bit of yellow and I pu pull it, ooh, ooh. It definitely looks like fire. Ooh. Oh, my orange, my dark, oh, I covered it all up. Okay, less for my next one. And then, Ooh, and I give it permission to run, as I pull up, it runs out of yellow paint. So, you know what I can do too, is go and attack some of those, um, the black pieces showing through. But you can only paint up. Everybody look, look, oh, look, look at me. Up only, up, right? And I touch his tail and curve it up. Oh, pretty, okay. You know what I don't like? Look at my black showing through. I'm gonna put little tiny pieces of yellow on that black. Goodbye. Okay, 
Gently, though. How did that happen? I thought we painted it white. Cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at this right here. I don't, I, I, this is like pure red right there. I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow on it and tell her to calm down. Mm, look at those long strings. Long strings of yellow in my red. Oh, but they don't go all the way to the top because that's supposed to be for yellow and uh, white. But look at, oh, who thinks it's wicked good? And wait till it dries. When it dries, that because yellow is a see-through color, the dark red will peek through again. And then look, look, are they even, are they evenly spaced apart like this? No, you can have them be like cross over each other. They can, it's flames, right? They don't have to be like, like a fork, right? Perfectly straight. You could be like, <laughs> look how good that is. Okay, then we can turn our fishy like this. Fishy! Okay, wait. Check for 3D. Do you have white areas? Whitish yellow areas? Orange areas? Orangey red areas? And then yellow on your red? How many variations of color is that? And then can we, what happens if we keep scrubbing it together? Remember what I did? Okay, look at this one. She's all orange. How come? I kept going like this, and I kept mixing, I'm like, why am I making, stop touching, I'm just making one color, <sighs> right, so i like, oh, no, no, I have a red area, I'm supposed to have, like this, a red area, an orange yellow, and then, and then a yellow area, and then I put string, strings of yellow in my red, so cool, the best. Now, who's ready to paint the body? Can you stand her up like this again so her face is on the bottom? Switch your painting so she's looking off the page. You know what we have to make? We need a fin. How many colors does a fin have to have? Oh, look at that one. So first it's white. Flick! It's like a giant flame. Then I put a flick of yellow in it. Then a flick of orange, and then a flick of red. And should I mix them together? No. I like that they make stripes of each other. It looks really good. But if I scribble them together, what color are they? Regular orange. <laughs> right? So, okay. So it's this fin. And look at how badly I drew this. I drew the little one and went, that's wrong. So I tried to make it bigger. But it doesn't matter because we paint over it. Right? So I'm just gonna, I'm with my dirty paintbrush. No, we can clean it. Let's clean it. Let's clean our paintbrush. So that we have a nice clean white. So we just have to give it a squeezy. I fold it over and squeeze the paint up. But look what I do when I do that. I made it, turned it into a duck's beak. It's all flat. That's not how it's supposed to be. Let me make it big to a point. What are you doing, paintbrush? Look at there. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. And your body is going to touch the tail. They're gonna overlap, right? It's the same color, so the body overlaps the tail right there, so don't worry. We don't protect the tail versus the body. Same color. Okay, so let's do this fin. Where's my white? So I poke my white. Poke! I think only one poke is all we'll need for a tiny little fin, okay? So I might have to flick it a couple times to fill it in, but it's pointing backwards. So I just go flick, then flick, right? So, and what if I get it on the body? I'm gonna paint over the body in like a minute. So we'll fix anything that gets on the body. So I can literally touch my body and flick backwards. Oh, okay. And it's kind of going off the page. It's going, look over there. Woo, 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 right? It has a little, foof. and everybody's is going to be a different size, but I don't want to look at the Sharpie. No, we don't want anyone to know I drew it for you, right? 
We're just like, oh no, that's how good I am. That's what you want people to think. Okay, dirty paintbrush, don't care, because now we're going to put a thing of yellow on it. So I poke my yellow poke. And is the white still wet? Yes, because we just did it. So it's going to make a brand new fun color. And I just flick the yellow on there. Whoosh, whoosh, put yellow stripes. This is my favorite. And do I have white pieces and yellow pieces now? I do. I Look at them. Look at them up close. It kind of made a yellow white flame and I don't scrub them together. I let them just sit next to each other and make little stripes. Okay. Okay. But when I go, I would like to, this is a lot of yellow and white. It is, I need a lot. This is too much for the orange. I think it would erase my orange. I'm gonna clean it off. So I, I want to get less paint, you know, than this. So I just go pinch. And then of course I made a pancake out of my paintbrush. So, can, can I just make it pointy again? There. Okay, now she has a point again. Because I, I smash it, and then she's like flat. Okay. And then, how much orange? Certainly not a giant stab of orange. Right? So, maybe just a poke. Just a poke. Okay? So, I'm just going to poke my orange. Because it's a baby little fin. Poke. And then... It might mix with my yellow a little. Right? You want to see? Okay, I'm going to bring it closer so you can see. Watch this. Watch. Here I go. I'm just going to fling it. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh, oh, look at the... Oh, look at it made a fire! Should I scrub that in more? No! Oh, look at the needle stripes I got! I think I love mine. And I never know how it's going to turn out. But as soon as I get the stripes, I'm like done. I'm like, look at it made. It made stripes. Okay, but it's not matchy-matchy yet. Who's missing? Dark, medium, light. We need the dark red. Just just for like her, un, just under her fin, like a little, little something, something, right? So we, oh, let me compare and make sure I get the right one. Okay, the dark one. And then how much? Uh, a ton of it? A little baby poke? The dark orange. Oh, by the way, look at your fish right now. Look at the tail. How red is that red now that she's drying? I know. The color wet is not the color they dry. It's so hard to remember. Okay. Now just a little bit on my... I don't want to ruin the cuteness I just did. I just would like it to have a little bit of red. Fling! Whoosh! Okay. And then I stop. Because as soon as I get stripes, I am a genius. And it looks like a fire. And then if I scrub it together, what color will it be? If I keep touching it, what color is it then? Orange. I could have just painted it orange if that's what I wanted. No, I want flame. Okay? And now you have to lick off your paintbrush. Just kidding. Paper towel. It's my dumbest joke. Okay, so I clean my paintbrush. <laughs> Pinch. And then put it back to a point. I say that because I... I pinch really hard and mine becomes flat. Okay, now let's paint the body white so we can add some decorations to her. But I, 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 I have to outline it. Who remembers how to outline? Right? So you, you get the white paint, but you land in the fishy, and then your paintbrush goes smash! Right? And then one, ha one hair touches the sharpie. One hair. Like that. So, because the whole fish is white. We have to block out the black, right? So I go, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just go smash and I just get the white stab. Okay. And then, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, lady, what about the tail? What if you get uh, the body on top of the tail? That happens to fish. <laughs> so I just go, oh, smash inside the tail and then I sneak up and let one hair literally touch the tail and then I, I one hair this is I just go slow right one oh I missed let me start over smash sneak up okay one hair is staring at one hair oh <sighs> 
You know you can do it though, because you can handwrite. So we don't scribble a fish. That'll make her all furry. And there is no furry fish. Okay, so how do we do it? Can I show you again? I poke my white paint because the more paint that's on there, the smoother your line. So remember how when um, the paint is thick, it's like a bulldozer, your paintbrush is push the sand. And on either side, there's a pile of sand. Well, we push the paint and then a nice smooth bead of paint will stick out the side. So I just go, oh yeah. So I go smash and let one hair. And if I have to do it twice to get a smooth line, I totally can. I did it. See, I went really slow and got it smooth. I did not pick up my paintbrush and go dash, dash, dash. That's a bumpy fish. Okay, how about the bottom? This is hard for me to paint for you because I have to keep my own hand out of the way, but watch. Okay, should I go uphill or downhill? I think I should go downhill because I did pretty good. But watch me cut off the, the, the fin because the fin is behind her body, right? So I just go smash. Oh, this is really hard for me because like, I'm not getting a good angle for me to see myself. Okay, I'm going to try and do it so you can see. Oh, here I go. I'm cutting off the top of the fin. Don't care. Oh, I'm out of paint. It's all dry. Poke my white paint. Poke. And then push. Okay. Oh, I picked up orange along the way. So don't care. It's going to be an orange fish. Oh, see? When it's dry, it doesn't... It's not enough paint. Pushing the paint nice and thick is what makes that edge thick and smooth. I have to do that over with more paint, and that's how I get it smooth. But I do not pick up my paintbrush and go dash, dash. I just smoosh, smoosh. There. Now I have a smooth fishy. Okay, let's we're cute, right? Aren't we cute? We're pretty cute. Okay, so look at the tail though. The tail's not connected to the other tail. So can we just go flick, flick with white and make sure that they're attached to each other? Like up, 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 get rid of the bye black. Up, 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 okay, up, up, there. But they're attached like, like little red, little fluffies. So I just go up, 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 okay. Up, up. And we're going to paint right over that eyeball. It's not real. I'll show you where the eyeball goes. So don't worry. Okay, now let's paint her uh, body. And just go, we're going to paint it white, you know. But just paint it, just go slow when um, you get near an edge. That's, your brain will not let you go outside of the lines. I promise. Unless you paint crazy like this, then of course you'll go outside the lines. But I get the white paint and I just smoosh it in. Smash, smash, smash. I can push and pull, but I just slow down when I get near an edge. Bye, black. See? And I'm going to paint over her eye. Bye, eye. Because I'm going to show you where to put the eye. I don't think, look at my, my, look at, can you see that I can still see the black through it a little bit? Look at the little, little black dots. I don't like it. I'm going to put another layer of white on there. I don't like that. Put a little, just get a little poke more paint. And just, because I don't want to see those. And then you have to kind of do it softer. Do you see how the paint guys gets suction cupped off? Look, everybody look. Everybody pause. The tail is not straight. It's They're made out of little flicks. Like, they're flames too. So we're going to attach it. Okay, not a box. A uh, oh, flame. Uh, yeah okay but then I get some more white and I need a second coat I don't want to see all that black let me put more oh a second coat covers up the black that's better and I definitely who feels like you use the side of the paintbrush like lay it down flat a little more then the tip look at what the tip does scratch look at the tip just what did the tip just do to my painting it, it just cut the paint off. Oh, the flat part, the soft part of your paintbrush, she's the one that does the smoothing. So if you forget and hold like a pencil and try to go straight ahead, why is the paint coming off? Okay, and then, oh, I'm going to put a second. I don't like her face either. Look, I can see through it. I'm going to get it. Put a little extra. 
and then smoothing smooth oh i still see blood i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it there okay perfect well white and white that's a white boring i don't know what this is supposed to be but it certainly isn't interesting so can we put remember when we put the yellow on it and then put orange on it and got those really interesting stripes let's do that again so we'll put yellow on her body and then put the regular orange you know the fruit orange on it and see what happens okay so i'm gonna stab my yellow but hey, do you have to do it very softly on top of the white yeah if you push hard you will scratch the white back off so you just stab your yellow and do it soft not with the tip of your paintbrush right too scratchy this flat smooth side and i'm just going to decorate it white yellow oh <gasps> look it i just pick it up and drop it somewhere else and pick it up and drop oh i'm doing it very soft oh look at what the landing's doing when I land, it seems to suction cup off the, like a sponge. It's taking my white off. Oh, softer. And then get more yellow. And then drop it off. Whoosh. And then pick it up and put it somewhere else. Like a little sponge. And they look like stripes. That's so fun. And her little nose. Her little nose. Fish don't have noses. Wait, wait, wait. What about the tail? Everybody look, tails like this. Aren't they just orange and yellow flames? Whoop, 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 yellow flame, yellow flame. Put the yellow on top of your tail. See, now it's attached. Big and long, they could be long. Long, 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 yes. Now it looks more attached. Now let's just do the top half of the fish with some orange. Okay, so wet or regular orange, okay. Regular orange, poop. And I'm just gonna wipe it off across. Everybody pause and look up. I'm gonna show you. Everybody pause this painting. No painting, stop. I'll wait. Okay, look, so I'm gonna go, ew, and just wipe off the orange first on, cr across the top of the fish. Do that first, because then we'll play with it. So drop off a string of orange on the top of the fish, right on her back. Because how many color values do we want on our fishy body? Dark, medium, and light. So we're about to make medium. Okay. And then I just dropped it off. Do I want to leave it like that? No. But now I can push and pull it around. Because I didn't want to go outside the lines. But now I can go oh, and sneak really. Oh, look at those neat. Oh. Ooh. It's making cool stripes. That's so bright. Push, pull, no scribbles. I push it uphill and pull it downhill and push it uphill. <gasps> so pretty. But we only did the top of her back because her back is shinier. Oh, and, and I forgot the tail's attached. Push the orange into her tail. Oh, 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 wait, that's not enough orange. Do over. Every look, I got to put orange on her tail. Okay, now it's attached. All right, long, long strings. Okay, now see? That looks like it's attached. Okay. Now I can do the bottom. Do her tummy. Her tummy is going to be orange and dark red. Right? So I'm going to get my regular orange. Boring. Right? Nobody cares about medium. And I'm going to put it across her tummy. Whee! Okay. Very boring. But what if I get a little bit of the reddish orange too and mush them together? Okay. Where's my red? Oh, the dark orange. I'm going to get a poke of that. Just a poke. And then smash it on top of the regular orange. Woo! Okay. It, do they look so similar when they're wet? But they're not. Okay, now I'm going to push and pull on their tummy. Oh, push, pull. Ooh, just for their tummy. Just the tummy. Ooh, I'm doing long shows. Up into the tail and fall back down. Up into the tail and fall back. Oh. Pretty. 
But I also wish, um, look at mine. A tiny, 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 tiny black. If I put a tiny, tiny black, I can make a little dirty orange. But who knows how powerful black paint is. Did you smash in the two orange and make a new color for the tummy? Mm -hmm. And then attach it to the tail, right? But I would like to make it a little bit darker. But I'm actually terrified of black. Do you know why? Because it will make everything very, very dark very, very fast. That's what I did. Look at this one. Did I put too much black? Uh, I made the whole thing dirty. I did, <gasps> Just a speck. Because it black mixed with orange looks brown. So I just get a tiny bit of black. Can you find black? Find the black. Okay, how much is a tiny bit of black? Oh, I look at speck. Look, I'm like, this is the smallest I could be on the whole planet. Okay. I got the smallest speck of anybody because I'm a scared of black. I want a shadow, but I don't want to ruin it. Okay, so everybody watch. I'm gonna drop it off like a little little worm. Here I go. Everybody look. It's a tiny, tiny little worm of black. Whoa! Now you do it. Tiny. I got the tiniest speck I could get. Now you do it. It's like a little worm for her tummy. Am I going to leave that blick just sitting there? I just mush it in. Oh, look at it. It's making a shadow just for the tummy. Oh, I made a shadow. I mushed it in a little bit. I just stay on the tummy though. Oh my God. It's a shadow. But it, how much black was it? And I just mushed it in. And pushed and pulled it. And it made... A little darker, a little darker, just a tiny bit darker. Uh oh, too much black. Um, who got the tiniest speck you could possibly get? Right, that's it. You cannot get more. You just make it invisible. All right. Because I see somebody. Can you walk? Everybody walking around. Can you help assist? Maybe put some yellow on it if it looks too black. Clean your paintbrush of all the extra black and put some yellow on the black and to, only if it's too much. And tell it to calm down, black. Calm down. Okay, now we get to put the eyeball. You guys ready? It's black and orange mixed together. Okay, you guys ready? You have to be done painting to do this part. Okay, so it's it's my eye, right? Where's the eye at? Oh, it's three fingers from the nose. And then a, a finger from the top and a finger from the bottom. Right? But um, my paintbrush won't be able to do this very good. Um, so I'm going to use my finger, okay? And it's two fingers big, right? So I'm going to get, how, how small of a blick can you get with, with your finger? Where'd my blick go? Oh, there she is. Look at me. Those of you who are not following directions and getting too much blick, watch. Oh, I got, is that the cutest little tiny little bit? Why? Because I'm scared of black. Shit, that's, it's fair. It had, when they make black paint, they put so much of the black powder in the gel that she'll cover up everything. She's like, whoa. Okay. And now I'm going to put it in her eye. Where's her eye go? Oh, it's three fingers from her nose and right in the middle and just go poke. Just put the dot. We'll make it bigger with our finger. We're using our finger. Not our paintbrush. Your paintbrush will not make a circle. It'll just go blah, blah, blah. It ruins everything. The paintbrush can't make a circle. So where is it? Three fingers from the nose. I'm literally using my fingers. Okay, now I'm going to clean my finger off from the black. And then can I get some regular orange? 
little tiny poke of that. Whoo! And I'm going to spin it inside of my, um, but it's not very big. You know, it's just a circle, like a, like a quarter, right? And I, I'm going to use orange to tell uh, black to calm down. Oh, it's making dirty orange. Cute. Wait, do two fingers fit in it? Yep. Circle, 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 circle. Oh, 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 zero, zero, zero. And two fingers. Put two fingers over it and you're like, yeah, that's the right size. But do, is it pure black? No. It's a tiny bit of black. So who's making, I'm pushing the black around with orange so that she's not, you're like, calm down, black, right? Perfect. Okay, now look at this dirty little color on my finger. Don't clean it off. You know what this is? Fish freckles. We're going to put little fish freckles on her face. Watch this. The little dirty paint on your finger. Look at me. <laughs> I made fish freckles with that little, it's almost like orangey gray paint. <gasps> you can barely see it, but it's cute, right? Fish freckles. Okay, now we're going to put the eyeball inside. We just made the, eye, look at, I have the whites of my eye. A fish doesn't have white parts around its eye, right? So we just put the brown part of my eye. And then there's a black circle in the middle. So this is like that, right? So now with my fingerprint, now I could put black right in the middle of that orangey black. So now I get my finger and I go, poke. And why? Because my fingerprint is a perfect circle. Right? So now when I go in the middle of his eye, I just go poke. And it's a cute little uh, eye. Watch. Watch. So it's my dirty little circle around her eye. That's like the brown part of my eye. Now I'm going to put the black part. Look how cute she is. Oh my God. And it's delicate, that's it, right? And then, do I have a little bit of black on my finger? Can I put some freckles? How soft and tiny are freckles with my finger? Poke, 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 poke. I just let a few little freckles around her eye. Cute, 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 cute. Soft, 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 soft. And then watch. Look at, I still have some left on my finger. I'm gonna go up her back. What, and they get smaller and smaller. Watch. I ha There's three in a row, then two in a row, then one in a row, then one, 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 one. That all are attached. Oh, cute. I'm not going to get any more black. If I get more black with my finger, how much black would it pick up? A huge globule. So I was using just the leftover black look on the side of my finger, on the corners of my finger, for just a little fr fish freckles. Okay, now, you know everything alive on this planet has wet, round eyes, right? Look at my eye. Does my eye have a little white dot on it? Uh-huh. At the top? Uh-huh. Why? Because the light is shining down on my eye. So we're gonna get our stick of the littlest paintbrush. We never use this paintbrush, but you guys should keep it because they're very expensive. It's like $5 and this one is $8. So don't throw these away. Okay, so this one, I'm not gonna use the paintbrush. You know, if I use this stick, it's like a miniature fingerprint, right? But I just need a speck of white like that. Like, a, oh, is it reflecting? There. There's the reflection of the white dot. So I get white, but I just need a tiny little speck. And then where does the tiny white speck go? On the top of the black. You wanna see? Here I go, everybody watch. On the top of the black and, oh, she's alive! Because everything on this planet has wet, round eyes. Can I smush that in and make gray? No, it's a speck.
Look at your tummy, how it's drying darker. And it's darker than her back. Because how many color values do we need for 3D? Dark, medium, light. But look at when I did this one. How much black did I put? Ew! Oops. I don't know what that was. I don't know. Oh, but look at her tail. Does it look like a flame? Do you have dark pieces now that it's dry? Dark pieces? Medium pieces? Light pieces? How about on the body? A darker tummy? A lighter back? Freckles, right? Cute. We're all done. We did that in an hour. You guys did so good. What do you think of it? Do you notice that you can't go back and paint over anything that you've already done? How come? The paint's already dry. Once the paint is dry, if you're like, oh, look, uh, and you get any kind of paint and you try to paint over it, it won't mix. It'll just paint over it that brand new color. And it erases everything you did. So you can't go back over anything. You're like, oh, I want to play with mine more. You really can't. It won't make any new colors. It'll just kind of make it like a muddy color. And we touched black. And, uh, you know, and it would make your tail look, uh, look gray. Right? So once we're done, we're done. And keep you this clean paintbrush. It was just a mistake that I guessed, right, at, at what paintbrushes we would need. Because it had been so long since I did the fishy. But it totally worked with the big paintbrush. Who loves theirs? Who thinks it came out better than you thought it would? And then who had to stop themselves from painting anymore and scribbling the colors together? You have to let them just float on and, 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 and just rest on each other. Good job. I do like your freckles when you run out of paint on your finger and you give it permission to have ton of little flakes or whatever. And because your fingerprint makes like a little horseshoe, they look like scales. And then put the lids on your paint. Because you guys can keep these. They won't stay uh, wet forever, right? But you could decorate some um, at home, some rocks or something. You know, these are all the colors for making a uh, butterfly. And then the black, after you make the butterfly wings, the black outlines it. Just saying. If you wanted to play with some more things. Put the lids on all your paints because teachers don't clean up after you. No, no, no. It's your job. You made the mess. So put the lids on everything. And they kind of go snap. Snap, snap. Here's my little bag, right? And I could put everything in here. And teachers, if you're keeping the paintbrushes and washing them, I would collect those because they often end up in the trash with the paint. If you're not keeping your paints, you can throw them away, right? If you're keeping your paints, put the lids on them, clip, right? Until you hear the click, right? That means it's sealed all the way around. Good job, you guys. You did a great job.